Hey guys, Armagon here with the companion video on the Chad of all brands, the L4. We're gonna disassemble this guy today and show you how easy and fast and convenient this guy is to do so. So, first of all, we are clear. Actually, we'll lock this back first because first off, we're going to put this carry handle in the top position, then flip this guy around. So you can see down here, there's a little spring clasp that, uh, right there, you see that guy? That locks around this milled slot in the receiver. Push this back, that pops that up. Slide the dust cover closed. This barrel locking collar comes up and the barrel comes right off. There you can see the interrupted threads. This goes in, you close this, and this has corresponding threads which then lock this in place. Here you have an adjustable gas block. So one, two, three, four, those little dots correspond to the size of hole. Usually for brand guns, you run them on number two for starting and then uh, fine tune it from there. But I had this guy out running on the number one and it ran very nice, very soft shooting. So rotate the bipod to the left to about the nine o'clock position. Then it slides right off as well. Then on this side of the gun, there is a single disassembly pin, which uh, actually will take tension off the bolt. We'll drop that the charging handle and here pop this guy see there's a little bit of spring tension there so sometimes if it's sticky push in and then you can pull this out that much more easily this is captive so that'll stay in and the whole lower will slide right off man look at that full length rail love this uh old world manufacturing they just did stuff to such a high degree love it and that's as far down as you need to take this thing out if you want to take the recoil spring and guide rod out. Those are in here. You gotta pull this back cap off and uh, yeah, but not necessary for basic field stripping. And then from here, this whole assembly slides out. Long recoil action, it's a tilting bolt uh, as well. You can see it better actually from the top end. When this slides back, the bolt drops. So when the slide finishes, it basically pushes the bolt up against the locking shoulder, and that's what locks the action. And it stays locked until the bullet travels down, <clears throat> passes the gas block, the pressurized gas from behind there, comes through and boops that long stroke piston um, through here, which sends this carrier back. Obviously, it comes back just a hair, and then the bolt unlocks, and your action cycles back. You eject around downward through this open slot, and then as it's a top feed on the return stroke, it picks up a fresh round, chambers it, and fires from an open bolt. So. Again, that's the spiel on how she works. Let's pop this guy out. Everything comes out the back. This is so much easier to disassemble than the bar. It's uh, not even funny. And that guy's right over there. And again, that was our previous gun library episode. So if you want to see detail on how to pull that guy apart, that was the previous video in this series. Here's your internals. It's this simple. Massive piston. And here's your bolt. And this is when it's cycling back. And then when it cycles up, this surface here pushes the bolt up against this locking shoulder right there. You can see there's that machine surface rests up against the locking shoulder in the gun. So this locked, this slides all the way forward at the end of the stroke. That was unexpected. <laughs> but at that point in time, I guess I can show you, there's your spring loaded firing pin back there. And that hits against this surface right here and goes in. And that basically is what pushes that firing pin forward and makes the magic happen. So there you go. Fully field strip of brand L4. All the brands come apart the same way, so there you go. No tricks needed to putting this thing back together because it's just as simple as it came apart. Everything in the reverse order and line this up all pretty like for the thumbnail and I'll give you guys a quick fly through and then that'll be it. And there you go. Super simple, super straightforward. One of the better light machine gun designs. It's just so serviceable in the field, it's so easy. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys want to see next for the Gun Library series. And please check out the links below, support those who support us, and consider picking up some Bunker Branding merch, which will be dropping very soon. Thanks a ton, guys. Armin Gun, out. Boom diggity. <laughs>